Look at this. Uh-oh, I messed it up. <laughs> Sorry, Bog Zombie, don't kill me. All right, guys, we are continuing the Ohio locations for Spirit Halloween. This one is in Beechwood. Look at that tiny little sign up there. I don't get it. Like, why do some stores get enormous signs? I've seen stores with an enormous sign that goes all the way across, and there'll be like a second sign over here. And then some stores just get these itty bitty little things. Online it says this store is open till seven today, but I'm not even sure it really is open because there's like nobody in the parking lot. Of course it is first thing in the morning, so let's go in and see what we can find. But not before I Photoshop a bigger sign on this building. Tiny little sign, what in the heck? Okay, let's go ahead in. It looks like there's some flashing lights in there and the door's open, so let's go see what is up in the Beechwood Spirit Halloween. All right, guys, yeah, this is totally awesome. They just opened. That's why there's like nobody in here. But it's so cool because that means I get the entire store to myself. Isn't that right, Lord Farquaad? Oh my gosh, I hope there's like no little kids trying to say that and it's coming across wrong. I apologize if that's happening. Just call him Lord Raven. That's what he is, Lord Raven. All right, look at this. This is cool. This It's different in every store. In the laboratory, hanging right front and center, we have Chains of Death. It's the Chains of Death! And then we got Barry going crazy right off the bat. He wants to get in on the chains of death. He's another one that's swinging pretty good too. Look at this. It, look, he's like banging his head on the bars. Like, get me out of here. <laughs> the bubble tubes of death are all working as they should be. Like that is legit glass too. That's not even plastic. And I would assume that you can change the color of that, like just by changing the color of the light bulb that you put in. So you could make it green or purple or blue or orange or whatever you want. All right, Barry, I'm moving on. Keep headbanging. Okay, let's go around the side here because we got Grim. We got to see him going. And look, they got Chains of Death out here too. A lot of the places I've been in have them set up different. This one's got the Chains of Death. Oh, he's moving already. I just love how it looks like he's always looking upwards, like, get out of my face. All right, we're still waiting on Monty, and I can see here that we're still waiting on the uh, the ghost face stuff. Man, that stuff comes in, I'm just gonna go crazy. Let's look at some of these animatronics they have for sale right here. Look at this, we have two bog zombies on the floor. We have two berries, and I gotta say, when I first was looking at Barry, I didn't think he was all that great. But let's go back in here and look at him one more time because every time I see him, I like him better. Especially when it's like this. He's banging his head, he's moving exactly how he should be. His cage is swinging. He actually does look like a zombie that is just being held captive. Okay, so that's Barry or Barry, whatever you wanna call him. So we also have two Lord Ravens in the store. Something over here. Oh yeah, we have jumping spiders and we have two Grimms. Oh, looky what I see here, guys. They have the ghost face bobblehead, which I bought the other day. They have the gremlins bobblehead, which I don't really care for. They don't have the Michael Myers, but they do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is the one that I need. And I hear some monsterness going on back here. Summer, what the heck, look at this. They got, <laughs> they got oh, hello, mister. Look at this, he straight up jumped out from behind the pole to scare me. You bag of bones. But look at this, we got Lucky Bottoms down here in the dungeon. He's left all alone. He must have been bad. Now they have bag of bones on the sensor, so they might have Mr. Dark on the sensor too. Let's just find out. Here he goes again. Mr. Dark is not responding to me, so 
He must be turned off at the moment. I'm really on the fence of whether I want to buy Bag of Bones or not. Oh, I bet he's back here propped against the pole because every time he jumps, he wants to fall over. Remember we saw that in a couple of the other stores? He would jump and every time he would like hop a little closer to the edge and then he would eventually fall off. They don't, they don't have Reagan, but look at this. They have a whole bunch more animatronics back here. Right on the top, we have a Lucky Bottoms. And then below him, we have one, two, three, four, five Bubba's Man's Possessed Friend. Man, we got a whole stack of the sitting scarecrows here. Looks like there's about six or seven of those. And then of course we have the stuffed dummy props. Those are good for if you wanna buy a costume and make your own scary monster. We got a whole bunch of the jumping spiders. We got black ones, red and black. Uh, let's see, I don't see any brown ones. Oh, I stand corrected. Here he is right here, the brown jumping spider, right above Bag of Bones. How much is Lucky Bottoms anyway? 169 and then of course if you use that 20% off coupon you get almost 30 bucks off all right let's go ahead through the tunnel of electricity and look at these these guys are going crazy without even needing to be set off by me walking through it sounds like, yeah the floor is already going I already got that set off it's just a nice little vibration there we got both of the monitors going this guy here that becomes the uh I almost said Nightmare Harvester. <laughs> I can't even remember what the heck his name is. And this one is not actually showing the the thing that it's supposed to be showing, but that is a pretty sweet little uh, spirit logo there. Look, this thing's like spinning around him. That's pretty awesome. I haven't really looked at these too much, but they got these pictures on the back here. One of them is Buzzsaw, and the other one is Crunchy Bones over here, Miserable Murray. Let's go on through here and look at some of these fog machines because I have not looked at any of these this season yet. We've got a couple of different kinds. This is a low-lying fog machine. That means that you'd set it on the floor and as it's spitting out the fog, the fog would just kind of float around the floor like in a graveyard. You used to actually have to make your own fog chiller where you'd take like an old cooler and cut a couple holes in it, put a bunch of ice in there and run the fog through there. And when it came out the other end, the fog was cool enough where it would just hug the ground like that. Look at this one. This is a giant thousand watt fog machine. Then we have these small 400 watt fog machines. You could put these like behind a pumpkin with a hole in it and the fog would come out its face. And here's a strobe light. You could put this inside the pumpkin and that fog coming out would be flashing and really spooky. Couple of different sizes of the fog juice here. That's a smaller bottle. And then we got this giant gallon bottle here. And I've never seen this one before, low-lying fog juice. I wonder what makes that different. Oh, and look at this. This is like I was saying in the other store where Annabelle's box looks just like Chucky's box, only it's just painted different because they both have like this rounded window in them. We got a couple of the Sam hanging dolls and a couple of the sitting Sam dolls. Now these are cool because this is like a full figure of Sam as opposed to this one, which he doesn't really have legs. This one he does and he's holding a pumpkin. Oh, and look at this. We have the Billy Butcherson side steppers. They got their little yellow tags, so they're not gonna work if we hit the button. But those, whoa, he's working. He actually scared the living crap out of me since he worked. And I saw this tag, but somebody already pulled it out. <laughs> We've got the bouncy head Sam, and the bouncy head Jack Skellington, and the bouncy head Zero. Awesome selection of fleece in here, but I don't see the new ones with the Nightcrawler or uh, Crouchy. They do have this ghost face one though. I think I told you before I bought that one last year. Okay, since the music is low in here, let's go ahead up here and look at some of these toddler costumes. Usually there's a speaker like right above these things and I can't film them very good because the music's so loud. But let's look at some of these. This has got to be one of my favorites right here, the Mike Wazowski, look at this. He's got one eye to read the map wrong. We got Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Here's Sully from Monsters, Inc. We got the Cookie Monster. What the heck, we have the waste management ride along. He's like wearing the garbage truck. We got a little Elmo here, a baby shark, a yellow baby shark. Oh look, we have Moana and Pete the cat and Alina of Avalor. Look, it's a little Yoda. 
<laughs> the Mandalorian. That is too funny. We've got the mini Chuckies and we got a little gizmo. Blue's Clues Magenta. That means that blue has to be around here somewhere. Right there. Here's blue. Right there. And then, man, we got a whole bunch of them. We got the Gecko. We have Ghostbusters Stay Puffed. Sunny Day. Hmm, I'm not sure what that one is. True. Fancy Nancy from Disney Junior. Cat Boy. And Owlet. I actually thought that said Omelet. I guess that means I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, look at this one. We got Pluto here. Minnie Mouse. There's a reflection on these, so I have to turn them so that you can see them good. There's a Mickey Mouse. And a Mickey Mouse for an older toddler, I guess. Yes, we have the Incredibles here. Violet. And there, oh, that's a baby Violet. <laughs> and then here's Dash. And I love these in here. Look at how cute these are. Count Cutie. It's like a Dracula. A little monster. Whittle Werewolf. Look, it literally says Whittle Werewolf. Unicorn Belly. Red Riding Hood. Little Pumpkin. Dino Cutie. Fuzzy Duckling. Little Elephant. Baby Fawn. Tiger Tot. Look at that one. And then a honeybee, yes! There is an awesome selection here for little kids. Let's look at these ones down here. Little purple monster, lovely lamb, mischievous monkey. Let's see, oh, this is little raccoon, little puppy, little witch, and spooky skeleton. Okay, let's put a couple stickers around here. We'll put some in the candy corn bucket. We'll put some by the bog zombie. Did we even look at the bog zombie being in this store? Yeah, there he is. Look at this. Uh-oh, uh I messed it up. <laughs> Sorry, bog zombie, don't kill me. I totally messed up his uh, seaweed. There we go. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that has, actually does look pretty creepy, though, with it like that. All right, let's give some to Lord Raven here. And we'll leave some for Grim right by the chains of death. Oh, and I want to take a look at these shirts over here quick because a lot of people are asking about this one right up here, the spirit sign with the ghost face in it. They're saying that they're pretty much sold out everywhere, and hmm, that looks to be the case here too, which I can understand because that is an awesome shirt. Okay, so we got all the Jason Voorhees stuff here. Oh, look, they have that new mask, too. I've only seen this in one other store. Michael Myers. They have Halloween 1 and the Halloween from, like, 2018, I think that is. And then, of course, they do have the new long-sleeve Michael Myers shirt. I love that one because it has that jack-o'-lantern on the back like that. Lots of Chucky stuff. And this is only the second, uh, second store that I've seen this Chucky axe in. That must be new this year. And Freddy Krueger. We got the sweaters up there. We got the Nightmare 4 mask, which again is my favorite one so far. I might find another one I like better, but and then I got a couple of uh, different gloves down here. There's always a good selection of Pennywise stuff. And look, they have the old Pennywise mask here too. I think this is the first store this season that I've seen this one in. And they are never lacking for Sam costumes. And yes, they even have the Holly Ho bar. Well, look at this big Frank costume. It's Frankenstein. Well, it's actually Frankenstein's monster. People just love to correct me, but we love to call him Frankenstein. So it's a big Frankenstein mask, gloves, and a suit. Does all that come with it? Mask, inflatable shoulders, components, socks, hands, bow tie. Jet, is the mask? Yeah, the, everything's in there. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's Lydia's hat. Strange and unusual. I don't think I've seen this in any other stores yet this season. Lydia being from Beetlejuice, of course. We've got Marshmallow, of course. They've always got a lot of Marshmallow stuff in the stores. And then we got the whole gang over here. Is it the whole gang? Let's see, we got Fred. We got Shaggy. We got Daphne. And we got Velma. It's the whole gang. Oh, and we got Scooby down here. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. They always have a lot of awesome stuff from that show. And then people were telling me to look for Stranger Things. And they usually have a pretty dang good selection of Stranger Things stuff. Some of the older things here. Eleven's Romper. 
and the Scoops Ahoy uniform. I think that's the funniest one of them all. And then we got some new ones like the Hawkins High Cheer uniform. We got the iron-on patches here. A new 11 outfit and the family video vest. And look at this. I'm finding a whole bunch of Billy Butcherson's head in these stores this season. And look, they even have Winifred Sanderson's teeth. Okay, guys, this has been a pretty awesome time in this store. There's just nobody in here, so I've had the whole store to myself pretty much. There's been a few other people in and out, but I've had a good time, and it's time to move on to the next one. So stay tuned and see where we end up next. Ah, 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 ah.